We're bringing you the latest coverage you count on as the pandemic continues to keep a lot of San Diegans at home. I'm Greg Bledsoe, and this is your daily coronavirus morning update for Monday, April 27th. With more than 3,000 people across the county that have now tested positive for the coronavirus, we got 100 new cases reported yesterday. There were no new deaths reported yesterday. The 111 people who have died so far from the virus represent about 3.5% of all of the confirmed cases. Well, two new coronavirus testing sites operated by the county are opening up today. These are drive through sites. One of them is at the Public Health Center in Chula Vista. The other one is at the North Inland Live Well Center, which is in Escondido. The nasal swab tests are free. However, you can't just show up at these testing sites. You do need a doctor's note and an appointment to get a test. If you have your doctor's referral, you can schedule an appointment using the county's 211 system. And this morning, several beaches reopened across the county and I want to show you Pacific Beach right here. This was about 15 minutes after sunrise. Look how many surfers were in the water there. Yeah, immediately, as soon as they were able to get get out there, they did. We spoke to we spoke to one surfer who woke up about three o'clock in the morning to make sure that he was out there in time. In the meantime, beach openings do come with restrictions. You have to keep moving if you're walking along the beach. That means no sitting, no lying down or relaxing in the sand. Also in the water, swimming, surfing and single person paddle boarding only as kayaking as well. There's no boating, though, and piers, boardwalks and parking lots are all closed right now. Fiesta Island is still closed as well. Well, for a look at what beaches are open and more on what's allowed, we did put together a pretty thorough list on NBC7.com. So go check it out. Just search beaches and that'll take you right there. Students in San Diego Unified are getting back to grades today. The district says that nearly 50,000 laptops have been handed out to kids who still needed one. So now they are ready to fully launch the distance, distance learning program with grades. Here's the thing. Students will not get a worse grade point average than they had going into all of this. So their grades can only go up from here. We're going to continue to keep you updated with coverage you count on right here on NBC7.com as well as our mobile app and on television. So stay with us. Have a safe and healthy rest of your day.